Lucas Media. Shout out to the ones who support me and the ones who hate me. So I watched the WNBA draft tonight, 2024 WNBA draft. And you can see that this is probably one of the more most watched ones in recent memory. I actually seen people talking about the draft and promoting the draft. And you got to see Caitlin Clark go number one to Indiana. The only thing that I disagree with was I think Caitlin should be in a in a more large market team. But then again, she from Iowa, Indiana, similar to Iowa. So that might have a good storyline. And then the Chicago Bulls end up getting Camila Cardosa from Brazil. And she's a national champion. Then we turn around and got Angel Reese with the seven overall pick to the Chicago Sky. And Chicago picked two champions back to back, really. Now, I really hope the WNBA does not mess this up. And they need to thank the NCAA. Because when they finally allow, allow players to get name, image, and likeness, you're now able to see more of the Caitlin Clarks and the Angel Reese's on TV. You got commercials now, and you see Caitlin Clark on every single commercial, so she's getting more known to the casual fan base. The NCAA should have bid did this. Everybody's able to eat now, and you see that. They really, like 78 said, might save the WNBA. Now, they don't have any issues, Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese, but people need that kind of storyline, like a Magic and Bird, honestly. And really, you need a dancing partner, honestly. You need that other opponent. Ali had Frazier. Floyd had Manny Pacquiao. Uh, Marvin Hagler had um, Sugar Ray Leonard. Even the Bulls and Pistons storyline. Or when the Bulls went up against Utah back to back in in the NBA Finals. You need a storyline, honestly. And now you're going to see people, even like with me, I'll be checking out the WNBA more. You know, especially now that she's drafted by the Chicago Sky. And you want to see these players make more money. You want to see them in endorsements. And the WNBA is a potential gold mine for investors. You know, so I I eventually do want to see the Angel Reese's make. 30 million dollars a year you know i'm not hating on that at all and we just i just the WNBA did a, a poor job of marketing to the casual fan like i say what's gonna convince me to go down there after i get off work and sit in traffic for an hour you know and so we needed this we needed a storyline every great event in sports has always had a storyline but I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.